just difficult. It's not supposed to be like that. No, that that's great for shopping. This is a strange one. Yeah. It, yeah. It's yeah. a motorcycle. Did you know that? I, you did tell me that only because when you came to pick me up, you said, you have to wear this. I'm like, a helmet? This is a car. And you're like, no, this is technically yeah. classified as a motorcycle. So you have to wear a helmet, which means I can't drive it because I do not have a class M license. Yeah. And I did get you one with Hello Kitty on it. So. Well, because you love me. I do. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is the Polaris slingshot. We're going to have a Cariosity on this. It's going to be super fun. Walk around, POV drive. That's all coming later. Uh, but you know why we're here because you watched the teaser for Wheel Report, obviously. Yeah, and it was awesome. It yeah. was the best teaser I've ever made. So, oh my gosh, I was so teased. Were you? I was really, really teased. Yeah. Um, and I made it. Yeah, so, uh, I know. <laughs> okay, okay, so episode one, I wrote things down on a piece of paper yep. here, um, but we're not gonna reference it yet because I wanna kinda tell you what, what we're gonna talk about. Yes. Uh, we're gonna go a few weeks back to the New York Auto Show. Three points, new Toyota RAV4. Jaguar I-Pace, an all-electric SUV, Whoa. and the Genesis Essentia concept. I'll be honest, when Genesis, when I see a Genesis vehicle on the road, at first I don't even, I didn't even know what it was. I'm like, mm -hmm. what is this automaker? And then it turns out they came out of Hyundai. They did. So the first vehicle that sort of started Genesis was the Hyundai Genesis. It's just a mid-sized sedan that was supposed to compete with the BMW 5 Series and those kind of vehicles. So you're saying that the Genesis was the beginning? It was the it was the beginning. It was. It was. Is it sad that it only just hit me that that's what that means? <laughs> I work in this industry. Yeah. Yeah, that's sad. Cool. Anyway, they then developed a few more sedans um, and they're working on their first SUV that was previewed by the New York Concept. Genesis Essentia is an all-electric supercar with translucent body panels and a carbon fiber monocoque chassis. You said it's made out of what? Carbon fiber. The whole thing. The whole thing is made out of carbon fiber. Usually you build things in terms of like you have a, a body and yeah. then you put, or sorry, you have a, you have a structure, a chassis, and then yeah. you put body panels on top yeah. of that. The whole chassis is made from carbon fiber. And so it's very rigid, very lightweight. They pulled that from racing and then they brought it to street production vehicles, mostly supercars at this point, but it's kind of trickling down to other vehicles. But obviously it's still cool to see a concept made of carbon fiber. You're probably gonna be able to review it too. Yeah, I gotta talk to Genesis about it. You better start that relationship. Mm -hmm. Start it. Ah, uh, I see what you did. <laughs> Guys, Terrible. Jaguar yeah. I-Pay, speaking of all electric. Yeah. It is their first all electric vehicle and it is a rival to Tesla's Model X. From what I understand is this is gonna be a vehicle that when it does hit production mm -hmm. in the next few months, mm -hmm. just go right into a dealership and purchase. Yeah. Whereas the Model X, I mean, I've been inside uh, Tesla's and if I go inside Tesla, test drive a Tesla, I'll be like, yeah, I wanna go get this thing. They're gonna be like, awesome, put your name on a list mm -hmm. and you will eventually get it. They'll give you a date mm -hmm. and if, ever, if all the stars align, that date will be honored. Yeah. So the fact that they're making an all electric vehicle that is gonna be com a competitor to that Model X and be something you can go and get right away mm -hmm. after you test drive it, that's a game changer. No, it's so cool. I mean, it's the first mainstream all electric SUV. It's totally a punch in the gut for Tesla because it's cheaper than the, the cheapest Tesla Model X. It's quicker and it has slightly more range than the base Model oh, X. Really? So, wow. I mean, all these things are like, well, why would I wait to get a Model X when I can just go get a new Jaguar I-Pace? Toyota RAV4. Okay. Now, that we just talked- boring vehicle ever. Not the most, maybe at one point, so, it still is the most boring I'm vehicle. I'm going to nap. But Why are you talking listen, about it? Listen, listen. Hey, did you like that Forerunner that we reviewed a while ago? Dude, that was so awesome. That was my first off-road trip. Mm -hmm. And while everyone else was kind of like bumping and all over the place, you and I were listening to just slow jams and cruising. Yeah, yeah. So the new Rap 4 yeah. looks a lot like it. Oh. Yeah. The reason why the Forerunner was so amazing to me was because we were hitting stuff that looked insane. We would do it and both look at each other and just laugh because it felt like we were yeah. going over a speed bump. Yeah, we were on a pillow yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, Will it perform? It's not going to perform exactly like that, but yeah. they are pulling some of the same technology. They are going to have dynamic torque vectoring, basically kind of oh, like, wow. so that mixed with the all wheel drive system, it's sort of like what Subaru has done with the Outback, where you can do some serious wheeling yeah, you that, really at can. least in the adventure version of the RAV4. Um, it's not going to be as insane. You're not going to have the ride height that, that the Forerunner has, and you won't have the fancy suspension, but you will have some of the tech that lets you wheel. I really like, I've never looked at a RAV4 ever. I remember in high school, a friend of mine, she had a RAV4, and she, there was just a bunch of space for us to all go to Jamba Juice. Yeah. You know, like that's... that was that car. The RAV4 is like, oh, let's hit up Cat. She can drive us to Jamba Juice. Yeah. She has a bunch of seats. Yeah. And that was all the RAV4 was. Yeah. It can, well, okay. it's going to go further than Jamba Juice. And it's gonna, that's it. 
<laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> Jamba juice. Yeah. That's it. That's what you need you to know. You got Jamba juice, rap, that's the and then you can go further. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's what they'll call it. <laughs> Toyota Rap 4, go further than Jamba juice. Oh, I hope they do. Toyota, please yeah. contact us. Uh -huh. We will do the commercial for you. Yep. Toyota Rap 4. Further than Jamba Juice. Um, so that's the that's the news. I hope you learned something. We definitely did. I didn't know Genesis is the start of something. I uh, could have read a Bible anytime, yeah. right? And I didn't know that monocoque frame was actually something that existed. Yeah, that's it's not a dirty word. No, that is actually a real thing. It is called a monocoque frame. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Wheel Report, guys. Something afterwards. See you next time. Man, this light is burning. Oh, like, good. Yeah. Holy we crap. We left that on for visuals. Oh, and that's now a it's just hurting. Bad idea. Yeah. Okay, we can cut that. Good but for me. Just keep it rolling. Yep. Ow! This is really hot. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's piping hot.